we just came down to Portland today for a, a cool meetup with um, Dave Marie here with Bramo. Dave? Hi, how you doing? We're, we've only been in the, the stores for about five months now, and we're very pleased with the, the, the response we've got from the, the crowds. I think we're, our timing is ideal coming to market with a product like this, a uh, zero, zero emission green motorcycle. Literally, I mean, this is ideal for what people are looking for now, especially commuter vehicles in and around the, the cities and the suburbs. Right. It's, it's not like an internal combustion engine, so you don't have to build up into the power bands to, to get full speed. Yeah. With electric motor, you've got 100% torque immediately. With these, actually, we've intentionally made them a bit more sedate on takeoff so you don't get the, the wheel spin or an immediate wheelie. So it's very gradual on the takeoff, but once you get it rolling, it, it can get up to top speed. Top speed is only about 64 miles per hour, but it can get up there in a hurry uh -huh. with these. So it's, it's safe for riding on the freeway or blending into freeway traffic, but uh, again, it's made as a commuter bike. What's unique about the technology? Earlier we were talking about how this is basically like a laptop on wheels. That's correct. Actually, it's it's fairly simplistic. There's not a lot to the bike. I mean, the, main, the main components on the bike are the batteries, lithium-ion batteries, and electric motor. So direct drives. So there's no gears, no clutch, and the majority of the other components on it are just diagnostic. So it's it's battery battery management systems. You've got a vehicle control unit, which is constantly self-testing all of. No shifting, just throttle. Just straight, yeah, twist and go throttle. Really simple to ride. Actually, this is an ideal for someone who's an accomplished motorcycle rider and someone who's interested in motorcycle riding. Do, do you need to have a motorcycle permit then? Yes, yes you do. You, you still you, you still have to register it on the street as a normal motorcycle. because. It's, so we're in the back now taking a look at the bike and we're talking about how to get a couple of these up to Seattle. Um, what else is interesting is with the motorcycle, you can uh, take the HOV lanes. HOV, is that right? Mm -hmm. HOV, which means you can bypass all the traffic, so very cool. So we're going to go out here in a little bit and uh, take a spin. Oh, let's see the cord and stuff here. Sure. What's, what's going on there? So Eight foot cord uh -huh. underneath the seat, plugs into any 110 outlet. A little fuse box there. Actually, the majority of the charge, the uh, the big charge happens within the first hour anyway. So really? What, what it does, right, it, it'll rapidly try to recharge itself, typically around the first hour, hour and a half. Uh -huh. And then it goes into battery balancing. There's there's six batteries uh -huh. in, in the bike. So what it'll do, it'll start balancing. You know, the, the last portion of the charge, it starts balancing all the cells to make uh -huh. sure that they're all identical, they're yeah. all even. So yeah. you, you get... You get uh, linear, you know, use so, so, of the battery, so it isn't what use up one battery, move to the next one. Yeah, so you could plug in, and it's it's a different type of battery where you don't have to totally drain it. You can yeah, charge well, yeah, it. Right. A, these, a, these aren't like the nickel, the old nickel metal hydrides, which yeah. have what they call uh, charge charge memory. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So you don't you no longer face that anymore with these. Uh, it would charge memory batteries. I mean, they, they only if they weren't completely dissipated and then recharged, you don't. They'd only take like half a charge. Yeah, after yeah. Several charge periods. Right. These things, the, the manufacturer recommends or warranties these. I think it's 2,000 deep cycle charges, and recharges. So I mean, it's it's a rarity that someone will ever actually completely dissipate and and, and uh, recharge these. At least don't suffer the the, the memory. Charge like the, uh, the older mm -hmm. did. A couple of safeguards on on the bike. So the bike will never the electric drive will never actually take off while the kickstand is down. Uh -huh. Or there's a kill switch over here, on and off uh -huh. switch, and the headlight has to be on. So this is uh -huh. three pretty much three safeguards yeah. this thing ever taking off on you inadvertently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to turn it on, key to up. Start the tank button here, you push and hold it for three seconds until you can hear it comes to the you can see it, you'll hear it from the live okay. sound. Yeah. It sounds like a laptop. <laughs> yeah. Laptop yeah. booting up. It powers up. It powers up. Yes, it does. Link and you know, it gets green. A, uh, display on the screen. It's going to show you what the status of the charge you have okay. left on your battery. Uh, right now, there's, there's a little red light flashing on the Stand down. Okay. So it yeah. will not allow the, the bike to take off yeah. because the kickstand is down. Yeah. 
And you got to use your light, your, your turn yes. signal turn here. Signal right, turn signal left, right, and a cancel, you just push it straight in. Okay, okay. Uh, high beams, low beams are here. Horn down there, and this is for flashing high beams. Okay. And then this regular throw. Yes, throw it. Just twist and okay. go. Yeah, there's no clutch, no What are these for? Just to kind of change in the... Yeah, right. So you've got your trip meter, uh -huh. and you've got your odometer, plus you can also cycle through. <laughs> And you've got different displays, so you've got time remaining on the mm -hmm. charge and distance you travel on the charge. It's also about how much power. I mean, it's got a uh, peak power meter okay. showing you know, during your ride that you, your motor is pushing anywhere from zero. Because you to can't really hear hear so much. No, no, it's, it's, it's just yeah. visual, right? Yeah. The body plastics are from recycled batteries. Uh, Quite, quite a bit, actually. I think it's 40%. Really? So we're recycled. recycled uh, so all of the plastics on it are recycled material and can be recycled again. Awesome. Push that to on, and then your headlight has to be on. It has to be on. Right. So you won't see any kind of display, okay. so it's not ready to ride. Kidding, huh? <laughs> yeah, like first impressions, it's the platform is really stable. It has some weight to it, right? So there's so the, so the, the feels 324 pounds, but it's yeah. all low. So, yeah, but it feels good because it's you know it's, it's it's a little bit raining right now, and I was kind of like, oh, is it going to be sketchy? But yeah, I can really try to grip the brakes on it. It's solid. Mm -hmm. uh, Picks up, it moves. Yeah. It moves really good. It feels like it feels like you're on a motorcycle, not yeah. some kind of toy. Uh, and <laughs> um, I wouldn't be that scared in traffic with it. You know, like I'm on some kind of light. You can joke out of it. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I think it's a really uh, revolution in motorcycle riding, and for something that's around the city where you want to just go from A to B, park a nice day out, you want to just go for a cruise. Awesome, totally awesome. I've ridden bikes since I was like six, so I've had dirt bikes and street bikes. It's just, it's just awesome, it's totally awesome. All right, yeah, they're they're black. So check out uh, Bremo.com. Bremo.com. Place your order. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get these guys up to Seattle here, mm -hmm. and I do an event where you guys can uh, check them out yourselves. But uh, definitely compare like to the Tesla and the build and everything. It's just. I'm really happy to kind of see the platforms all here, and it, it's not a toy, it's a full-on motorcycle. Where they're all going to be. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> all going to take it out. All right, Dave's going to go now. Go, Dave, right. go. He's doing okay. He hasn't been on a bike in a while, but it's just so stable. It's, yeah. yeah, it's just smooth. You can't even hear... How was it, Dave? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Pretty easy to ride, too, yeah. Okay, we've got two sales today. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about these. Is it, what was the... It's pretty so, it's solid, though, isn't it? Yeah. It feels like a motorcycle. Right, right. <clears throat> yeah, it's weird. Yeah, you just... Go. <laughs> yeah, it's twist and go. It's right. Like simple. Yeah, no kidding. And you, it's, it's like a scooter in that way, but yeah, it definitely doesn't feel like a scooter, you know? Right. It's like the ease of the ride of a scooter, but definitely, yeah, more of a machine. Well, that's what, yeah, that's what Tim was saying too. Is, is a lot of people's initial impressions they, they see it as electric bikes, so they assume it's like a child's toy. Right. You know, so it's like one of the, you know, the little electric fire engine sitting under the Christmas yeah. tree. Well, hey, thanks, that's Dave, for your time. Oh, you're appreciate ta taking us out. And we'll definitely get you up to Seattle. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is the future. Awesome, Dave. Yeah, future for sure. The future is now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of the rain. And you know what? It, 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 riding in the rain, I think it too is important. It was. It feels really solid. Yeah. You know, because yeah, yeah. you will get caught in the rain in, in Washington. You could, you could, you could. Me and my ladies, buddy.